Hi, Hanjali Luthra again. So today we're going to discuss a few of the questions that comes in your SQL exam. Here we get a question pattern where we get a table and there would be some questions for which you have to write the SQL queries and for some the query would be written and you have to tell what will be the output for that. So I'll be solving a few questions for you and I'll be explaining you how it works and then I'll be giving an assignment as well which you have to solve and submit the answers. Okay, so the first question over here is consider the following table activity and coach. Uh, okay, write SQL command for the statements which are given below. Okay, the table is activity which has attributes as a code, activity name, participants, number, prize money and schedule date. And there are few records in that. The question is not asked here but generally we're discussing whenever we see a table the first thing that comes to your mind should be what is the degree and cardinality of the table. So here we have five columns, a code activity name, participants num, prize money, schedule date. So the degree of the table is five and by chance there are five rows only for the a code 1001, 2, 3, 5 and 8. So there are five rows that's why the cardinality is also five. But anyhow the question given over here is to display the name of all activities with their a codes in descending order. While writing the answers, first you have to focus on the question. The question says to display the name of all activities. So with select word, I have to write only that attribute which they have asked in the question. They have asked only for the name. So I will not write select name because in the table, the column name is activity name. So double check in the column, uh, double check in the table, what is the actual column name for that thing which is being asked in the question. So the question's answer should be select activity name from activity in descending order of A code. So order by A code BESC. So here is your answer. Select activity name comma A code from activity order by A code BESC. The keywords over here are written in capital letters just to highlight those. But as you know, there is no restriction to put them in capital letters. Second question is to display sum of prize money for each of the number of participants grouping as shown in column participant num. Like you have to show the sum of prize money for all those groups where participant numbers are 10. Then you have to show the prize money for all those groups who have participant number as 12. So I need to make different groups. To make different groups we use group by. Always remember whenever the question is asked like for each of or for department wise. So if it comes department wise for each department, that means we have to put group by in this. So the answer would be select sum prize money. So we have to find sum of the prize money. The group field is participant num from activity group by participants num. That's how we write the query for this. Then is to display the content of the games table, that is the activity table, whose schedule date is earlier than this date in ascending order of participant now. So display the content. So column names are not mentioned so I have to write star. Select star from activity where schedule date. So we'll be writing it this way. Select star from activity where schedule date is less than. Date has to be given in single quotes. Order by participants now. Since it has to be, incre be in increasing order we don't write need to write ASC because that's by default. So that's how we write SQL commands. Then is the question where you have to write the output. The query is already given in the question. It's select count distinct participant num from activity. So anything works first. Distinct will work first. It will find all the different values for participant num that is 16, 12 and 10 and then it will count it. The answer would be 3. Then is select max schedule date comma min schedule date from activity. So from the schedule date column you have to find the maximum and the minimum date. Maximum date would be the date nearest to today's date. So it is 2004 March, 19th March 2004 should be the maximum date and minimum date would be 12 December 2003. You have to write on the same row because one row is fetched from the table. So you should write the first value after a space the second value. Then is select sum of prize money from activity. Now there is no condition mentioned with the command it's just select sum of prize money from activity so you have to add 
all the values in the prize money column that would be 10,000 plus 12,000 plus 8 plus 9 plus 15,000 that comes to be 54,000. So that's the answer for this query. So that is how you solve a question. Isn't it easy? SQL is something where you can score the max in your exam. So with less efforts, with less time to understand it, you can score much better in comparison to Java. Okay, second question is, consider the following tables, games and player. That is the games table and you have to write the commands. It's almost similar to the above question. To display the name of all games with their G codes. So we'll just write select game name comma G code from games. Then to display the details of those games which are having prize money more than 7000. So you have prize money more than 7000. So select star from games where prize money greater than 7000. Simple condition and we've put star because in the question is given display details. So since all details have to be shown it should be select star from games where prize money greater than 7000. To display the content of the games table in ascending order of scheduled date. Display the contents means again select star from games order by scheduled date. Then to display the sum of prize money for each of the number of participants. So the same again group by command. So select sum of prize money comma number from games group by number. And then there are three commands for which you have to write the output. That is select count distinct number from games. We've just seen for the above query that there are only two different numbers, two and four. So count will be two. Then is max schedule date and min schedule date, which you can check out from the tables and write. And sum of prize money would be total of all the prize money given in the column. Okay, then we have this question. Hospital is the table. The first they have given the queries for which we need to write the output. So it's select sum in bracket charge from hospital where sex is equal to F. So we'll find all those rows where sex is F. That is 250, 350, 100 and 500. So 250 plus 350 is 600 plus 600 is 1200. So 1200 is your answer. So we'll check where the condition matches. Wherever the condition match, pick up the value of charge from all of those rows and find their sum. That's simple. Then I select count distinct department from hospital. So department is here. We have surgery, ENT, orthopedic. Surgery is repeated. Then we have cardiology. That's the fourth one. The rest all are repeated. So there are four different departments and you have to show the count. That's why the answer will be four. If count would not have been here, it would be like select distinct department from hospital without count. Then you have to write all four names on separate rows. That will be surgery, ENT, orthopedic and cardiology. But it's counts. We just need to show the number of departments we have. Then I select sum charge from hospital group by department. Sum of charge from hospital group by department. So we'll make groups. So we had four departments. So there'll be four different groups over here. One for surgery, one for ENT, one for orthopedic and one for cardiology. And what we need to find is sum of the charge. So surgery is this, charge is 300, then surgery 300 is 600. Then again, surgery that is 440, so it's 1050. So this is 1050 is for surgery. We're not showing the name of the department because it's not written in the question. In the question, it's just written select sum charge. So we're just showing the sum of the charge. If it would have been select department comma sum charge, then we'll show like surgery 1050. Then ENT is 250 plus 350 plus 100. So 700 and so on for the other two. This is how we find the output for group by command. Then I select name from hospital where sex is F and age is greater than 20. So I have to show only the names for the ones who are female and the age is greater than 20. Okay, this is female but this is 18. Dhanya is female and 24th. Both the conditions satisfy over here. So we'll show Dhanya. Then Ankita is a female but 16 years old. Devya is a female 20 year old. 20 will not match because the condition is greater than 20. Equal to is not there. So we'll not pick Devya in this. Okay, now we have to write the queries. So it's to show all information about the patients whose names are having four characters only. It can be done in two ways. One of the way is we write select star from hospital. 
where name like underscore underscore underscore. Four times you give underscore. One underscore represents one unknown characters. Four underscores mean there are exactly four characters in the name. Second option would be you can write like where name where length in bracket name is equal to four. So if the length is four, it will show. Otherwise, it will not show. Then is to reduce rupees two hundred from the charge of female patients who are in cardiology department. First thing, the command is not to show; it's to reduce. We have to change the value in the table, so we'll be using update command for this. So we'll write update hospital set charge is equal to charge minus two hundred, where department is equal to cardiology and six is equal to M. So where both with conditions will satisfy, it will update the record. Next question is to insert a row in the above table. For that, the syntax is fixed. You have to write insert in two hospital values. And give all the values one by one. Dates can be given in single quotes as well as curly brackets. So it's your choice how you want to give it. Then is to remove the rows from the above table where age of patient is greater than 60. So we have to use delete command for this. So delete from hospital where age is greater than 60. So that's how we execute queries on SQL. Okay. Then another solved question is. We have books table. The first question is to list names from books of type text. So it will be select book name from books where type is equal to text. Quite simple. To display the names and price of books in ascending order of their price, so we'll write select book name comma price from books order by price. To increase the price of all books of EPB publisher by fifty. Again, increase means you have to make changes in the table. So we'll be using update command update books. Set price is equal to price plus fifty, where publisher is equal to EPB. So wherever the condition will match, it will increase the price by fifty for the books. Then to display the book name, quantity, and price for all C plus plus books. So when you have a book C plus plus books, now there is no column in the table which has any category like the book is of a C plus plus book. C plus plus books are like my C plus plus, C plus plus brain. That means there is C plus plus anywhere in the book name, so we would be using like over here. So select book name comma quantity comma price from books where book name like percentage C plus plus percentage means C plus plus should be there in the book name and there can be any number of characters before C plus plus or after C plus plus. So this is how we can fetch those records which are the books for C plus plus. Select max price from books the maximum Value in the price column that's seven fifty. Then I select count distinct publisher from books where price is greater than or equal to four hundred. That's two. Then book name and author name for the books where the publisher is first. So we get these two records and minimum price of books where type is equal to text. So first we'll match the records where type is text and then we'll show the minimum cost that's three fifty. Then there are some unsolved problems. Out of this, the first one I'll solve for you. Select round six point eight eight comma two. So it's saying that we have to keep two decimal places, so there would be no change in the result. It would be six point eight eight only. Then I select mid discovery channel comma four comma six. So we have to fetch six characters from fourth position. D I S C. C is at fourth position, so it'll be C O V E R Y. So output of this will be C O V. E R Y six characters from fourth position. Day of month is thirty in this because first we have year, then month, and then day. So day is thirty. So answer of third will be thirty. Select truncate seven point seven two seven comma one. We have to keep up to one digit after the decimal. So answer will be seven point seven. For these questions, you have to write down the answers and. either put in the comment section of the video or message me personally i'll check it and let you know how correct you are so i'll show you the questions for a bit of time So this is your school bus table, and these are the questions you have to do on this. Then another table is graduate. Then 
next table is sports and that's it so hope you understood how to solve these basic questions so do solve these and get it checked as soon as possible thank you